In 2024, superhero movies took a backseat due to a lackluster performance by both Marvel and DC in 2023. Apparently, everyone got tired of superheroes doing superhero things. I mean, even Batman needs a nap, right? But don't worry, folks. I'm here to rescue you from the mundane, because these 2024 superhero movies still leave plenty to look forward to. So kick back, relax, and get ready for a year of superhero movies that are so good even the Hulk might crack a smile. Madam Web Next month, Sony will release Madam Web, the latest addition to its Spider-Man spin-off universe. Notably, it's no longer referred to as the Spider-Man universe of Marvel characters. Led by Dakota Johnson, the comic book action movie adopts a unique approach with a Valentine's Day release and a predominantly female-led cast. Sony's confidence in the film is apparent, as Madam Web will be the longest movie in the Spider-Man universe to date. This marks a significant milestone for Sony and Marvel movies, showcasing a new direction for the cinematic universe. According to the Norwegian ticketing company FilmWeb, Madam Web is expected to have a runtime of 116 minutes. If this information is accurate, the film will surpass the runtime of Venom by 4 minutes, Morbius by 12 minutes, and the relatively short Venom Let There Be Carnage, which was 97 minutes long. While Madam Web is longer than typical Sony Marvel films, it remains shorter than the average modern superhero movie, with Marvel Studios films usually clocking in around 2 hours and 10 minutes. Despite its brevity, this runtime reflects a preference for a concise storytelling approach, as not every movie needs to be 3 hours long. In a switch from the typical genre, Madam Web tells the standalone origin story of one of Marvel Publishing's most enigmatic heroines, says the film synopsis. Joining Dakota Johnson in the cast of Madam Web is Sydney Sweeney, known for her success in the sleeper hit Anyone But You. The film resonated with audiences, showcasing the enduring power of word of mouth in today's fast-paced entertainment landscape. Sony is counting on Sweeney's fan base, particularly from her rom-com with Glenn Powell, to attract viewers to Madam Web. The cast also includes Celeste O'Connor, Isabella Merced, Emma Roberts, Tahar Rahim, Mike Epps, and Adam Scott. With such a diverse and talented ensemble, Sony aims to create a compelling cinematic experience, potentially even teasing a double feature with Sweeney's previous hit, though not under the awkward title Anyone But Madam Web. Ezekiel Sim is jumping into the Spider-Verse too, but the mystical mentor of Peter Parker might be turning into a villain in Madam Web, or at least that's what the trailers suggest. The movie is set to unravel its many mysteries on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Deadpool 3 after a not-so-great year for the MCU, they're changing things up in 2024. Instead of the usual three movies, they're keeping it simple with just one. Deadpool's debut in the MCU. Blame it on the SAG after strikes from the summer of 2023 causing delays, but hey, maybe it's a good thing. Deadpool, also known as Wade Wilson, the Merc with a Mouth, initially appeared in X-Men Origins Wolverine, where fans appreciated Ryan Reynolds' perfect portrayal despite criticism of the overall movie. It took seven years for audiences to see the Deadpool they wanted. Complete with the iconic red suit and fourth-wall-breaking humor, in the first Deadpool film in 2016, followed by Deadpool 2 in 2018. Both movies achieved immense success, ranking among the highest-grossing R-rated films, second only to Joker. The R rating allowed for a humorous and irreverent tone, fitting for a self-aware superhero satire. The competition between 20th Century Fox holding the rights to X-Men characters, and Disney, Marvel's parent company, concluded in 2019, when Disney acquired 20th Century Fox and its assets. This marked the end of 20th Century Fox's X-Men franchise, concluding with films like X-Men Dark Phoenix and The New Mutants without much fanfare. However, Disney's acquisition means that characters from the X-Men series are now available for use in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This integration is evident with Evan Peters appearing as Quicksilver in WandaVision and Patrick Stewart reprising his role as Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Ryan Reynolds spilled the beans that Dogpool, a Deadpool variant, will have a significant part, hinting at some multiverse craziness. In a surprising move, Disney announced that the release date for Deadpool 3 has been moved up to May 4, 2024, four months earlier than originally planned. The film had experienced multiple changes in its release schedule. Initially set for September 6, 2024, it was then pushed to November 8, 2024, and later moved to May 2024. 
However, due to the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes, production on Deadpool 3 halted on July 14, 2023. Following the resolution of the strikes, the film's release date was adjusted again, and it is now scheduled to hit theaters on July 26, 2024. Craven the Hunter Craven the Hunter faced delays, initially set for release a year ago, then pushed to October 6, 2023, and now scheduled for August 30, 2024. Apart from the sag after strikes, the reasons for the extensive delays aren't clear. However, it seems like the Sony Spider-Man universe is aiming for a big box office success, akin to Venom, and distancing Craven from the criticized Morbius. Taking extra time to perfect the movie might be Sony's strategy to ensure a hit. Either way, this will be Craven's first cinematic outing in history, featuring Aaron Taylor Johnson in the lead, marking the character's first ever movie appearance. While the Sony Spider-Man universe tends to tweak origins, Craven's different backstory from the comics isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it might make him the next beloved anti-hero in the franchise. Joker Fully Adieu The upcoming sequel to Todd Phillips' well-received Joker spin-off titled Joker Fully Adieu is a separate DC Elseworld story, not part of the DC Universe franchise. It's the only DC live-action movie for 2024, since they're focusing on Superman Legacy for 2025. In the following month, after the initial announcement, it was revealed that Lady Gaga was in discussions to play Harley Quinn in a musical film. Lady Gaga later confirmed her casting in the summer. Zazie Beetz was reported to be in talks to reprise her role as Sophie Dumond in August, and her return was confirmed in September. Brendan Gleeson, Catherine Keener, and Jacob Laughlin joined the cast during the same month. Gleeson expressed admiration for Joaquin Phoenix's performance in the first film and Lady Gaga, but admitted feeling kind of intimidated about his role. Harry Lottie was added to the cast in October in what was described as a significant role. By February 2023, DC Studio CEO James Gunn confirmed that the film, titled Fully Adieu, would be a DC Elseworlds project, existing outside the main cinematic DC universe. In May 2023, it was announced that the character of Harvey Dent would also appear in the film. The Joker made waves as the first R-rated movie to earn over $1 billion globally. Warner Brothers aims to repeat that triumph with the sequel, which is just as daring. Lady Gaga's role is especially fitting since Joker Fully Adieu is reported to be a musical, showing director Todd Phillips' commitment to pushing boundaries. See the results of this bold move on October 4 this fall. Venom 3 The third Venom movie by Sony faces some big questions after Venom's quick appearance in the MCU during Spider-Man No Way Home's post credit scene. It's not easy for the sequel to ignore a multiverse adventure. Also, Mrs. Chen, Venom's brave convenience store owner, encountered an animated spot from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This means Venom 3 has a few multiverse storylines to untangle. Venom 3 got its release date moved from June to November. Despite this, it still comes after Craven the Hunter in the schedule, hinting at connections forming in Sony's cinematic universe. Venom 3 hits theaters on November 8, making it Sony's third Marvel movie of the year. It looks like 2024 will be all about Sony's Spider-Man universe, while the MCU plans to go back to its usual three-movie schedule in 2025. So, Spider-Verse fans, if you had any big summer plans, it's time to cancel them this year. Sorry, folks, because this year is for you. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse After the fantastic reception of the second Spider-Verse movie, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse has a tough act to follow. The third installment featuring Miles Morales will continue from the suspenseful ending of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It brings together a team of different spider variants from the first two movies to rescue Morales from a universe where he doesn't belong. Meanwhile, Spider-Man 2099, also known as Miguel O'Hara, and the Spider Society are on a mission to capture Morales and prevent him from causing disruptions in canon events. The spot is causing chaos across the multiverse posing a threat to every universe. Due to the SAG-AFTRA strikes, the original March 2024 release date for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse has been removed and there's no new date yet. This might also mean the movie could be pushed to as late as 2025. Thunderbolts Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, portrayed by Julia Louis-Dreyfus, emerged as a mysterious figure in Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
introduced in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and later seen in the end credits of Black Widow, she appears to be recruiting morally ambiguous characters for undisclosed purposes. While Valentina Allegra de Fontaine's specific intentions remain unclear, her actions suggest she is assembling a notable group of individuals distinct from the Avengers. This mysterious team is rumored to be the Thunderbolts, set to be featured in Thunderbolts, concluding Marvel's Phase 5 of the Multiverse Saga. Thunderbolts was initially set to release July 26, 2024, but it has been rescheduled to premiere on July 25, 2025. Jake Schreier will be directing the film, marking his return to feature filmmaking after almost nine years. Schreier, known for critically acclaimed works like Robot and Frank and the adaptation of Paper Towns, has also directed music videos and TV episodes. This venture into the MCU signifies a significant step for Schreier in his directorial career. Surprisingly, the recent D23 showcase didn't provide any information about Daniel Bruhl reprising his role as the Captain America Civil War villain Zemo in the upcoming Thunderbolts film. This is unexpected, considering Zemo's significance to the Thunderbolts in the comics. Despite Zemo's expanded role in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where he continued to harbor animosity towards superhumans, there's speculation that he might not be mentioned because he could potentially play the role of the group's antagonist rather than a team member. This aligns with Zemo's strong opposition to superheroes. The confirmation of Zemo's involvement in the team of reformed super characters might have to wait until the film's release on July 24th, 2024. Batman Azteca, Shock du Imperios. DC's animated film Batman Azteca, Shock du Imperios, explores an intriguing what-if scenario within the Elseworlds concept. The story features Batman as an Aztec native named Huyohuali Cuotl, who resists Spanish colonization of his homeland. Similar to Bruce Wayne, Yohali Cuotl's parents are murdered, but in this alternate tale, the perpetrators are conquistadors. Scheduled for release in 2024, the film, directed by Juan José Meza León, showcases the imaginative possibilities offered by the Elseworlds banner in the DC Universe. Ultraman Rising Ultraman, the iconic Japanese hero known for battling kaiju for over 50 years, is making a unique appearance in the new animated film Ultraman Rising on Netflix. Unlike the traditional Ultraman, the film introduces a fresh character, Ken Sato, a baseball star who transforms into the gigantic superhero. This film, a continuation of Ultraman's legacy since the 1966 TV series, follows the familiar theme of an ordinary young man gaining the ability to become a superhero. Even if you're new to Ultraman, the movie offers a reimagined version of the hero, introducing new enemies and challenges for both longtime fans and newcomers to enjoy. In a teaser for Ultraman Rising, available for viewing, a notable challenge is revealed a baby kaiju that forms a unique bond with Ultraman, creating unexpected chaos. Directed by Shannon Tyndall, the creator of Lost Ollie, and co-directed by Josh Aoshima, known for Kubo and the Two Strings, the film promises an exciting adventure. With Christopher Sean voicing Ken Sato Ultraman and featuring Getty Watanabe, Tamlin Tomita, Keon Young, and Julia Harriman, the animated movie is set to be globally released on Netflix in 2024. This debut directorial venture by Tyndall is a must-watch for fans and newcomers alike. Legend of the White Dragon Legend of the White Dragon is an upcoming American science fiction superhero film directed by Aaron Schenke, funded through Kickstarter and set to release in 2024. The movie brings together former Power Rangers actors Jason David Frank, Jason Font, Serena Vincent, and Ciara Hanna. Other cast members include Aaron Schenke, Mei-Ling Eng, David Ramsey, Andrew Batchelor, Mark Dacascos, and Michael Madsen. The storyline revolves around Eric Reed, played by Jason David Frank, who returns to his city three years after a tragic battle to protect his wife and daughter from a new threat. Described as a mature take on the Power Rangers franchise, the film introduces a fresh universe to the iconic series. Bat in the Sun is an independent production studio based in Los Angeles, California, co-founded by Aaron Shanky and his father, Sean. They gained recognition with the release of the Batman fan film City of Scars in 2010 and their web series Super Powered Beatdown. In 2013, 
Aaron Schenke met Jason David Frank during the production of Super Powered Beatdown, leading to discussions about a new project eventually becoming Legend of the White Dragon. The studio collaborated with Sabin Brands professionally in 2018 for a live-action advertisement related to Street Fighter content in the Power Rangers Legacy Wars mobile game. To fund Legend of the White Dragon, a Kickstarter campaign was launched in July 2019 with a $500,000 goal. Although unsuccessful, a second campaign in March 2020 with a $100,000 miniseries budget and a $500,000 stretch goal for a feature film proved successful, ending with $508,578 raised. Originally planned for a 2020 release, the film faced a delay due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A new release date of September 4, 2023 was set for March 2023. However, in July, the film underwent another delay and is now scheduled for release in the first quarter of 2024. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is an upcoming action-adventure comedy film based on the Sega video game series. It serves as the sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and follows Knuckles. Directed by Jeff Fowler and written by Pat Casey, Josh Miller and John Whittington, the movie features James Marsden, Ben Schwartz, Tika Sumpter, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, Lee Majub, and Idris Elba reprising their roles. Announced in February 2022, the third Sonic Films production details were revealed during Viacom CBS's investor event before the release of the second movie. Filming for animated characters began in July 2023 in Surrey, England, while live-action filming started in November 2023 in London, with additional shoots planned in Los Angeles, Japan, and Norway. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is set to be released in theaters by Paramount Pictures in the U.S. on December 20, 2024. Fantastic Four Marvel's highly anticipated reimagining of the Fantastic Four, first announced in 2019, is set to be a significant part of Phase 6, with a scheduled release date of May 2, 2025. Despite uncertainty about the directorial situation following John Watts' resignation, the film is considered a crucial addition to the MCU. Originally announced in 2019, the new adaptation of Fantastic Four has generated heightened anticipation among Marvel fans. The iconic superhero team is making a comeback to the big screen, with a fresh creative direction and narrative exploration. Despite initial excitement with the announcement of John Watts as the director, recent uncertainties and Watts' resignation have led to speculation about the project. Nevertheless, Marvel enthusiasts remain excited about the Fantastic Four's reintroduction to the MCU, given Marvel's track record of delivering successful superhero films. The change in directorial leadership, while notable, hasn't diminished overall anticipation for the film. The chosen release date of May 2, 2025 for the Fantastic Four film is a strategic move by Marvel, aligning the superhero team within the larger narrative framework of Phase 6. Marvel's phased storytelling approach allows for interconnected narratives and the gradual introduction of new characters and story arcs. This release date implies that the Fantastic Four movie will play a substantial role in shaping the overarching narrative of Phase 6, potentially contributing to larger events and crossovers within the MCU. Marvel sees the Fantastic Four as a key player in the ongoing evolution of the MCU, leveraging the team's dynamic powers, familial relationships, and iconic comic book status for rich storytelling potential. The film isn't just a standalone project, but a vital building block in Marvel's broader strategy, contributing to the interconnected tapestry of characters and storylines that define the MCU. And that wraps up our journey through the most anticipated superhero movies of 2024. Now before you go, let me leave you with a question that's sure to spark some excitement. With all these thrilling releases on the horizon, which superhero film are you most eagerly awaiting? And what storyline or character has you on the edge of your seat? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all the latest updates from the ever-expanding world of superheroes. Until next time, true believers, 